Hi guys, how are you today? So I have a comment on my video. This guy asking if we can use random animations, different character in this. So basically this is I have created here. So if I go back, this is what I did. I am using this character in Unreal Engine Niagara uh, using component renders. So in this video, I'm showing how to randomize the animation actually full tutorial available here. This is a full tutorial, but this guy asking if we can use random animations different character basically i have done that so in this one single niagara system i am using three characters you can see all these three characters so let's start this tutorial so let's start and i'll take a niagara and just take empty effects i'll open this and let's add a fountain emitter okay so basically i'll just delete all these things and let's say you have a burst of like five particles and then you take the location maybe just a planar so i can take this maybe 200 200 so on a planar these five particles randomly spawning i just want once and life infinite so they will just spawn and just skip there so now instead of sprite render i will use component render and from here take the skeletal mesh and in this you need to go to here mesh and take any of your mesh and then choose the animation i will use the animation data and i'll take anything not this works actually i'll change the character and the animation let it compile actually so basically now i have this character with this animation and all the particles taking the same animation so all are jumping now i want a a, a, a random characters with a random animation between these five particles or 10 particles or 100 maybe so i'll just duplicate this less and you can also rename this i'll just copy and paste and i'll turn this off and in this one because i just duplicated so in this one there's also the same character but now i will use different and i think we can also change the animation that let it load yeah oh i have also fx linked in this so let me change it to another maybe i'll take this one and yeah so i have now this character and if i turn these two together i will have these two things these two animation character uh, overlapping each other so if i play see I have five these characters, five these character because they are overlapping the particle. So if you want to distribute and let's make the space little higher, maybe 1000. So now you can see. So I want like uh, these are five or six particles. I want three particles taking the that character and three a different character. So in here there is a thing called render visibility, and you can see both taking the zero. So for the first one is zero for the second one i'll make this one and here just take this and here type the visibility and if this is zero it will only show the zero visibility component render and if this is one it will show you the one and if you make it random zero and one so some particle will take that and some will take that other okay so this is how you do it if you have like 50 particles it will just make the variation like 20 uh, randomly it will distribute some will go to zero somewhere and if you have three particles three different character let's say copy and paste and in this one again i'll change this character to maybe this monster and let's turn these off for now and also turn this off make it zero and 
an animation I think something weird with that. Let me check another one. So we have this thing. Okay. So now I'll make this two and turn this on. So we have zero, we have one, and we have two. So this random thing will go from zero to two. So now we have these three characters. Okay. So this is how you random things. Cool. And you can just place it here in the viewport. And you can just play. Okay. So that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. Bye bye.